Hi, I'm Michael Scott. I'm here on the set of Lost Medallion. I'm one of the producers here. This is the, we're in Billy's cell right now, getting ready to shoot a bunch of the studio stuff, and it's pretty amazing sets that we've created. Production design on Lost Medallion has been really awesome. Not only the, the sets here in the studio, but also the sets um, that we've created at the waterfalls, the whole village. I mean, it literally, when you walked into the village, it felt as if you were walking down the Lost Medallion village from 200 years ago. You know, there was 10, 13 huts. It was built in the water. You could see the water streaming through, all that. It was just an amazing, amazing thing. And then you come to the studio here and you got all of the Cobra sets. The majority of them are the Cobra sets. And you got this grand hall that's grand. We're going to stuff with warriors and everything like that. You're going to get this thing. We're in Billy's cell right now doing this interview where the snake actually travels in and catches him. So I think she's done an amazing job, especially under the short time frame that we had to create these sets. It's one of those things where you know, time is always better, but she's been able to expedite the sets, create amazing looking sets that are ultimately going to benefit the movie and hopefully the viewer will be entertained by it. This film has some sort of gift that I've decided that th there must be some great god up there protecting them because, you know, they, they're so many things should not have worked out. So many things. I mean, like whether the time allotment or suddenly things going wrong, but everything in the last minute just kind of works, you know. And the, the biggest thing is Cobra's uh, boats, the outriggers. I finally found these boats that, you know, we're shooting here on uh, Hong Island right now. And uh, one of the outriggers are in the back. And the outriggers are amazingly beautiful. It's designed by this gentleman who's a Canadian man who lives in Sankaburi, northern of Kanchanaburi. And, and I really wanted these boats because they're bamboo canoes. And they just they just have the right feel, the right size. I just, I just love the way it looks. But I have to make one sink. And Bill's like, Mona, we, we really need to like sink one, you know? What do you think? Can we just buy one boat and sink it? Or can you make a fake boat and we can sink it? And the day I went to lock the boats in to, to bring them to here, um, there was one boat that had just had an accident and the bot it bottomed out and so it was kind of sinkable. And I talked to the guy who's renting it out and I was like, can I have this boat? And he's like, but, but it's damaged. And I was like, yeah, I really want to sink it again, like in the movie now, like have it sink, you know? And he's like, oh, sure, you know, you can bring it back. But it's, it's one of those little magical things that's gonna add so much to the production value of the film in the end because you're gonna really see this one boat sink and you're gonna think we actually sank a boat when actually it was already a damaged boat, you know? And it's, it's little things like this. And I think that in the end, you know, there must be something good driving it because there's definitely a lot of things that are just falling into place in the last minute and it's, it's pretty magical. Much like my career, it's going to be sinking, just like the guy steering this boat. Goodbye, Thailand. I love you. Mwah. America, here I come. Oh, wrong way. Mona and I sat down early in our pre-production and looked at every set. We really painstakingly looked at our color palette. We looked at the design. We looked at the angles. We knew that Huko's Island was made up of greens and Cobra's Islands were made up of reds. And Mona, early in the game, understood and captured and really took my vision to another level. And so every time she came to me with designs and we adjusted them, they were minor. Uh, everybody she brought in terms of her art department was spectacular. Sola, who's been our art design and designer and really looking at our framing every, every way has, has ran so hard to make sure that there wasn't anything in the picture, either a color or design or angle that wasn't a part of telling the story. What can I say about Mona? Then I just think she's an incredible design designer, production designer. She understands story and what she did with her budget, and I won't even tell you how little we gave her, is really her testimony. Few people could do and deliver what she's delivered here.